Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Learning Lead Channel. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about the most expected question from chemical bonding that is hybridization. What is hybridization? Hybridization is a phenomena where spontaneous intermixing of atomic orbitals to give a more efficient hybrid orbitals. These uh, hybridization is very important for neat examination. Let us see various types of hybridization phenomena in the tabular form that is given sp hybridization, sp2, sp3, sp3d, sp3d2 kind of things. Yes, one s orbital and uh, one p orbital gives sp hybridization that is a linear hybridization and one s orbital, two p orbitals that is sp2 hybridization that is trigonal planar geometry and one s orbital 3 p orbitals that is going to be sp3 hybridization that is a tetrahedral hybridization and you are going to see sp3d and d sp3 type of hybridization we are going to see this d orbital involving hybridization in the next slide that is going to be sp3d d sp3 and sp3 d2 d2 sp3 and d sp2 and this is very important when a neat examination from the NCRT based you are going to see which of the following d orbitals are being used in this particular type of hybridization is most most expected question. Let us see for this sp3d hybridization you are going to see dz square orbital is used and it is going to be trigonal bipyramidal line geometry of course dsp3 also has the same and you also use inner as the z square orbital being used whereas sp3 d2 you are going to use uh, two d orbitals one d z square and d axis square and y square and it is going to have octahedral similar to this d2 sp3 you are going to see again the same but it is inertial orbitals istamal kiya jayega hapar and you can see d sp2 it is going to be a square planar where d x square and y square orbital is being used and uh, sp3 d3 you are going to see xy and yz and uh, zx orbitals which is having a pentagonal bipyramidal and geometry and uh, i am going to present you the most expected questions before that a simple formula to calculate hybridization here is a simple formula to calculate hybridization hybridization number of hybrid orbitals is equal to half into v plus m plus or minus uh, c or a c stands for the charge of the cation a stands for the charge on the anion h here number of hybrid orbitals and v is the valence electrons of the central atom m stands here number of monovalent atoms let's say here if it is h is equal to 2 it is sp hybridized if h is equal to 3 sp2 hybridized h is equal to 4 if you solve it is going to be sp3 hybridized and h is equal to 5 sp3 d hybridized and h is equal to 6 it is going to be sp3 due to hybridization based on this short capture recapture of this concept we can say various number of questions i just want to give you ncrt related neat expected question from the hybridization sometimes you can combine this hybridization with vsc pr theory as well and we can do the questions now a question is given very important question the asy arsenic pentafluoride molecule is trigonal bipyramidal is given the hybrid orbitals used by the atoms of bonding are so it is a trigonal bipyramidal it is going to be sp3d hybridization which orbitals are being used and here it is there ncrt page number 115 we can refer it and you can have for sp3d hybridization the orbitals that are being used one s orbital along with an px orbital along with py orbital and pz orbital for sp3d hybridization you can say dz square orbital so by combining this various options are being given and the correct option matches with d so like that you correlate your preparation with ncrt and uh, we are going to see one more question now and it is which of the following is a pyramidal in shape and this question is based on ncrt again page number 115 
and the CO3 2 minus what is the shape of CO3 2 minus C double bond O and O minus and O minus this is going to be trigonal plana. One more SO3 it is also is going to be sulfur double bond O and double bond O and it is also trigonal planar and BF3 boron and it is going to be trigonal planar and PF3 if you check it is PF3 it is going to be yes P3 hybridization phosphorus with a lone pair of electron and fluorine it is going to be pyramidal in shape it is going to be pyramidal in shape as there is which of the following is a pyramidal in shape your answer is going to be D like that in the neat examination it is connected to NCRT every option you have to analyze and give an appropriate answer so that you will be getting a very good score in the neat examination one more question which of the following as a trigonal planar geometry we use the same method IF3 iodine and iodine F and F and it is going to be two lone pairs of electron it is going to be T shape it is going to be T shape whereas SO3 just we have seen it is going to be trigonal planar geometry trigonal planar geometry and you are going to see BF3 again boron fluorine 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 trigonal planar geometry where PF3 just seen it is a pyramidal in geometry and it is going to be which of the and which of the following as trigonal planar geometry it could be SO3 or BF3 so these two are going to be the correct answers for this question of course only one answer supposed to be correct and here one more the correct order of bond angles correct order of bond angles in the molecules H2O NH3 CH4 and CO2 if you check this H2O oxygen and it is related to again NCRT page number 113 and it is going to be hydrogen and hydrogen in the water molecule you are going to see the bond angle 104.5 when you talk about ammonia ammonia you have 107.5 the theta is going to be 107.5 whereas in CH4 it is a tetrahedral sp all or sp and sp3 hybridization it is going to be 109 degrees 28 minutes exactly tetrahedral angle whereas a carbon dioxide is going to be 180 angle so as you see when it comes to the hybridization as number of lone pairs of electrons increased if the hybridization is same and the bond angle is going to be decreased whereas yes character is increased the bond angle is increased so the correct answer is going to be CO2 is greater than CH4 is greater than NH3 is greater than and H2O like that you will be having various questions from the hybridization one more which of the following the molecule represents the correct order of hybridization that is given SP2 SP2 SP and SP in the following order when you talk about this structure CH2 double bond CH and CH double bond and CH2 CH2 double bond CH and C triple bond CH. In this case double bond you can see from the left the carbon atom is going to be one pi bond sp2 hybridized. This carbon atom is going to be one pi bond it is going to be sp2 hybridized and this carbon atom is going to be two pi bonds it is going to be sp hybridized 
and this carbon atom is going to be 2 pi bonds it is going to be sp hybridized like that hybridization is connected to the ncrt it is there in the page number 120 in the ncrt textbook and it is more prominently asked in the neat examination also so your answer is going to be here answer b is the correct answer and also in which of the following molecules the central atom does not have sp3 hybridization in CH4, it is sp3 hybridization perfectly and SF4, you are going to see sp3 dehybridization and BF4 minus is going to be sp3 hybridization, ammonium ion is also going to be sp3 hybridization. So, I just want to say SF4 is missing its sp3 hybridization. So, we have to identify the hybridization based on the formula that I have given to you. So, that my option is going to be here B. And also, today we discussed about various, today we discussed about various formulas related to hybridization and the questions related to neat examination from the NCRT. So, hope you like this session and please like and share and subscribe. Thank you very much.